Oh, Adele lost a bunch of weight and the internet is going mad. In case you're wondering, I'm not drinking a bit of Buffalo Trace today, so keeping it nice and loose. So Adele would do this. I think it's been it's been rumored a few for maybe a few months now. I think maybe ever since we saw images of her, I'm not sure where she was. It might have been like a after party somewhere for for the Grammys or something. It might have been a Grammy after party. I remember it was one of those kind of black and white photo booths they always do in LA. You know, was, I don't know how much it is to hire that booth, but wherever that booth is, um, everyone seems to love it in America. But that kind of booth that gives you the sort of like you know black and white style uh, film pictures that i'm not sure if they get sent by email or do you get sent physical whatever she, the member she took a picture of somebody in a photo booth and the internet was ablaze the internet was on fire because everyone was like oh my god she's so skinny because the first thing i'm mean, you know even for myself i know having weighed 260 pounds and i'm like what two something 220 something trying to get down to under 200 before this whole thing is over but even i remember when i was dropping down weight the first thing you notice especially when you're a bigger du- bigger person is that the first things that you yeah sort of evident things are the weight loss in your face and usually your neck starts to look and you can see some bits of your collarbone whether they may be right and if you're used to your body and your face looking a certain way it can be or if other people are used to it it can be a really big shock like whoa i didn't know you had that actual neck i didn't know you had an actual you actually had to cheekbones even if you've got a really round face you can still develop some form of bone sh- you can still you can still uh be able to like people can still be able to see your bone structure and um, if you lose a bit of fat or excess fat in that case right if you're a bit obese so i think when people saw the pictures they're like oh shit she's definitely lost some weight and a few other pictures came out but there was no official announcement and i think it was clever of her team not to really address it because you know she is one of the few i don't know what do you what do you call them superstars right in that respect there's a tier like the jay-z rihanna beyonce kind of tier drake maybe is in that conversation then kanye where you know they drop something it doesn't matter if it's just her just farting on her toilet seat you know, and it'll sell you know close to two hundred thousand copies of the album first week she's in that kind of upper echelon and people like that they just move a different way they don't do much press if they do it's always very you know uh it's always very planned planned out is no kind of spur the moment things they don't really let their guard down in public things only come out about them from second third fourth fifth hand sources uh, they never really di- they never really directly uh, address any drama or gossip unless it's something they really have to kind of speak about. They just always everything is dealt with behind closed doors. You hardly see them in places. It's a different way they move. So I understood about them not wanting to say anything. And in general, there's this weird kind of movement online which I'm not really a fan of. I'm a fan of the first bit. The first bit online, especially the whole kind of fat, fat acceptance quote unquote whatever that term is nowadays i think there's some good in it right there's some good in the fact that there are people out there who you know through no fault of their own or because they just wanted to as a lifestyle choice they decided that they want to be they don't want to lose any weight they don't want to look skinny they don't look slim they don't see any appeal in it they are they are really happy really um, content with just the way with being big and just the way they are right they don't really see me as a bad thing if people call them fat they don't cry or complain it is what it is they're trying to they're trying to uh, influence the world to get to a place where people don't uh, vilify them for being a certain size which is fine all, all power to you it's going to be a difficult you know undertaking it's probably something that isn't going to be possible within our lifetime but i'm all for that i think that's a good thing going forward especially with social media around i think the fact that people share so much about themselves online it'll be nice if we live in the if we live in a world where people just weren't mean for the sake of it because you happen to be a bit big right people just kind of were able to judge you on the strength of your character not by the way you look in the mirror or the way you look in your fucking camera phone it's a bit unfair but then the thing that i don't like about the fact except movement is the fact that any time it's a standard thing that happens it's it's more justified maybe in a vegan community right when a vegan youtuber gets called out for eating meat and shit people go crazy but it seems like um that's you know that's completely justified especially when you understand that veganism is a whole different subculture it's not just the dietary choice right there's other lifestyle aspects that comes attached with it so you know eating meat when you're the case of being a vegan is in a way kind of spitting in those vegans faces but the fat loss thing is strange because if you're in the fat acceptance movement and you're one of the leading voices and you end up losing a bit of weight they really vilify you because instantly when you lose a bit of weight you feel quite proud and especially if you've been that size for the majority of your life it's a 
real big accomplishment to somehow go from even if it's 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 accomplishment either way even if you go from skinny to fat or fat to skinny it's an accomplishment that sounded somehow over a period of time you were able to like change the physical makeup of your body it's just something you're always going to be marveled at no one's ever going to get tired of before after pictures right there's something just wow that's sick isn't it how you can just go from like you know one one way to another way so when someone posts it and it's not even a thing of like saying oh some people are not even writing a caption where you know i was unhappy fat now i'm really happy they're not even doing that they're just sharing what their journey like i decided to get fit it's just a decision they always get vilified by the fat community they were once a part of because they see it as a weird i guess a dog whistle that they somehow need to change their lifestyle it brings what's that thing called what's that word called expect unfair expectation maybe that's the term they use right um it's not maybe a good what's that word called uh, it's not maybe a good image or something message for young kids coming up and looking at it and thinking that in order to be accepted you have to be skinny all these really batshit crazy ways and you saw it happening with Adele and, it, and they think the good thing is that you know this sort of like um, work backlash doesn't really care about who it who it goes for anyone can get it uh, because of course the agenda is more important than you know people's feelings but i just think it's really kind of shitty because again she didn't say anything about it she just kept her counsel lost her way just kept to move on but people are now kind of like fighting each other online about what's right what's wrong and there's no right or wrong answer behind it if she feels like she's hotter now and she wants to be i don't know she wants to get a breakup body because i think she broke up with a long-term husband and had to allegedly pay him you know nearly 150 million in a divorce settlement whatever maybe if that's true or not whatever but people when they break up tend to go a bit you know let me show this guy what he's missing out on and get all hot and cute looking it's not surprised that she was on to the same thing too so should we just leave her alone let her get on her life or should we uh, use it as an opportunity to kind of like you know start pointing things at each other i'm not too sure but these are these are the tweets that kind of spurned this whole story so uh, I saved a couple of the responses online that I thought were of interest. So this is one person says, um, "Never mind Adele's weight loss. Her achievements so far are mad." Capital, and capital oh, lost is at one hundred twenty million sell record sell fifteen Grammys, eighteen Billboard Awards, five AMAs. Uh, it's the rest of what she's done, right? So I guess this person is trying to say, yeah, her achievements should far outweigh her weight loss, which is true. We all know she's amazing. But, you know, objectively, there's no way you can not look at her now because, you know, I don't think, I think everyone would uh, agree that Adele is a pretty girl regardless beforehand, even when she was a bit bigger. But objectively, there's no, there's no harm in, even if you're a bigger person, looking at that picture and saying that she looks incredible. She looks, I wouldn't say better, but she looks, um, by conventional beauty standards, she looks far more attractive then than she did when she was bigger, by conventional beauty standards. Now, if the beauty standards over a period of time change due to these fact acceptance movement people you know fighting a good fight so be it but as we are now in this moment 2020 people still tend to favor somebody that looks i don't know quote unquote uh the has the what's that word called when your size matches when your weight matches up with your height right because that's how they judge me if you're morbidly obese so if she's in range with what she should be in terms of her height and her build that's okay for people to find that attractive i don't think it's a bad thing and it's not necessarily she's kind of disowning the facts of this movie because she's still one of you guys. She probably still has a lot more. Because people like this will be, because that's the thing I've realized too. On social, especially when it comes to girls, there's definitely a, a woman thing that I will never understand. Of course, I'm not a woman, but there tends to be a lot of models, influencers, or girls that are like really attractive, you know, from birth sort of thing, you know, just got the luck of the gene pool, or girls that are just naturally slim and skinny. There's a lot of these girls who happen to have really big followings online, especially if they're fitness influencers. I never understood why, because a majority of their, of their viewers or fans aren't that, you know, in great, are in great shape, you know, by all sense of the word. But they tend to have a lot of those girls as fans who aren't necessarily skinny themselves. And then the influencer themselves uses their platform as a way to preach to those girls and tell them, hey, uh, you know, this is a lifestyle I'm promoting. I just eat this carrot juice in the morning and I feel super full. There's no way that they can relate to each other because this person that you're following, that they've never been in your position. They've never been bigger. They've never had to suffer, you know, in you know, in bad situations in front of their family members. They've never had to suffer being picked on in school, right, or being left out of certain things because of way the way you look. They've never had gone through any life experience you've gone through at all. And on top of that, they're you know multi-millionaires, so there's a definitely a, a gap there. But I don't know why some girls tend to like following people. I'm not sure if it's a weird, morbid sort of like 
self-hate thing if it's something that you just want to aim towards i don't know but it's just interesting if you just trust me whenever you see a a fitness influence online go through some of their followers and look at the girls that are following them who are kind of really active on their page they generally don't tend to look like the influencer they're following um it's just interesting it's sort of like following a footballer and not giving a shit about football it's like hmm. but regardless um so here's some of the negative ones about the reaction towards it, which i thought of interest let's get some of these up here and see what people are saying the backlash should be expected i think that's why her team kind of was radio silent about everything but i don't know some of it's just really weird um this is just let's see there's three here so far let me just get a couple of these up to see what you guys think of it so first negative kind of spin reaction on it says the following and there was the same person she was not a better person not a more acceptable person the same the growth is on the inside she's strong brilliant and talented but that's obvious right there's no need to say that unless you just want a virtue signal that's completely obvious we know she's amazing we know she's talented um largely in this world you know the more uh money you have in the well maybe the entertainment's but like it maybe the more money you have in the bank the more records you sell the more tours you sell out usually it's a good indication of how well people think of you right um or just in general you know she's definitely well regarded people kind of i think Patala maybe said it once about about adele kind of breaking up a fight between frank ocean and chris brown on an argument i think maybe that time when frank won an award after they had a fight chris brown which i think she somehow said something to them right to chill out take it easy so she's got that kind of motherly um auntie vibe that everyone seems to um resonate with her so yeah she's an amazing person we know that but she might have wanted the lifestyle change she might want to just change her appearance based on the breakup i don't know whatever we don't know what's going on I just thought that was a weird way to go with it, right? She's better on the inside. Mm -hmm. So, okay, cool. And then this one was interesting. This this went really in it, which kind of expounded on the whole, like, fact acceptance movements and what people in that community think about this. So again, weird weird way to spin it, but let's hear. Well, let's see if we can find out where they're coming from here. So this person says... Uh, to my fellow fats who are looking at everyone telling Adele how beautiful she is now she is skinny uh, you're valid beautiful I'm celebrated that you're where you are now which I agree with right like I said in the beginning I think that's how the facts and business is awesome I think for girls coming up nowadays with a phone in their hand feeling like you know they have to uh, abide by these social norms to see people that look like them at that current moment out there thriving living well is great so he continues you don't need an Adele moment to feel validated of course you don't need that but again this validation thing should really come from your parents or your household you shouldn't be going to social media to feel like you are validated as a human it should be the way you're brought up you know you should be instilled of uh and you know an unmeasurable amount of self-love and you know appreciation of who you are as a human and what you can evolve into uh, over a period of time um how life experiences can shape the way you go to you you attack things in the future you should have that mindset from you know from your home it should be something you're trying to get from strangers online that's where people really mess up a bit i think even if you are wanting to lose weight you should just be doing it for yourself and for the people around you because you want to i don't know she might be like hey i wasn't healthy i had some real big health problems i have a niece i have a nephew um you know whatever it may be right my other brother's got is just his wife got pregnant my parents are passed i don't know whatever there might be something that might just change your perspective on life that's fine um but the Adele moment thing is weird that comes like a phrase but it continues here Adele moment you can achieve and be whatever you want be right now okay we knew that and it continues also the, she looked better than when when she was fat takes are fucking terrible you don't have to comment on a woman's looks mm, you kind of that is it, that is just so what we're going to live in a world where we just don't comment on everyone's looks we just somehow what are able to uh, not judge a book by its cover that's not going to happen really is it um, it continues you don't have to be part of the problem they go low we go high you can try that but it doesn't always work but it continues here what we're not going to do here is debate health and weight she says fat people exist some are happy being fat some want to be slimmer some are healthy some are not so the fact remains fat people exist and worthy of love and respect and beauty and are neither better nor worse that i agree that's a brilliant take that i like right that's how that's what it should be reaction wise because I, I i just i understand why it can be triggered if you're a bigger person to suddenly see these tweets of like you know all these new adele fans liking it now because she's skinny because i think if you don't like someone because of what they look like that's you know that's a whole different conversation that we probably don't even need to have in it we're just not going to be friends but 
you can't just like write somebody off because they don't look the way you want them to look that's insane but you're also allowed for your own way of viewing the world to say i much prefer that person the way they look now than when they did in the past it's just it just is what it is it's like when people post pictures of themselves ugly in high school and like oh look how much i glowed up now why is that interesting or compelling content because you look considerably better in your eyes and everyone else's eyes than you did when you were in high school you're still the same person you're still beautiful on the inside doing all these things but by conventional beauty standards you look better now than you did back then people do all the time so i just think you know people need to get over themselves a little bit i think if you want the fight acceptance movement to happen you have to be comfortable getting taken the piss out of you have to be comfortable being poked a little bit it just has to be a thing you can't have these special rules about the way you are the people that act and then when people do something different you then decide to do another kind of rule marking i don't know it just seems weird doesn't it tell people how to react to you but then when someone else does something different than what you would do you then start reacting again crazy it's really strange and it continues here it says uh, we're all just trying to live as we are with body autonomy and the ability to exist with each other in harmony and without prejudice a person's size or lack thereof does not make a person better or worse than you look deeper yeah which is true but unfortunately we don't in it that's why apps like tinder exist because the world as we are as it is now it kind of calls for people to kind of make snap judgments on the surface because there is little to no time to get to know someone deeper why would you bother if you have services and products and situations where you can just get to know somebody on the surface and keep it going from there it would be nice to get to a place where we would dig a bit deeper inside but it's not and i think the best way to kind of push things forward in the fact acceptance movement is just for you just to exist remind people of this tweet here i think in the middle we are not we are not going to do here is debate health and weight fat people exist some are happy being fat some may want to be similar some are healthy some are not so the fact remains we exist we are worthy of love respect and beauty and neither better or worse i think that should be the kind of mantra there shouldn't be anything about you know shaming somebody for losing weight or getting annoyed with people that when they say they prefer a skinny because that's just someone's opinion you just have to be able to if you want to be part of you know regular society and not have people look at you weird you just have to accept that some people are going to react dodgy about things but you also have to be brave enough to step out you know you don't want to live in a world where it's you not know, for us how can I say this for as much good as there is in those kind of res- retreats they do right because I remember watching a video of one which was quite touching I think it might have been for that video there's a really good TV series actually called Shrill where this lady um, where it's essentially follows this uh, bigger lady in Hollywood actress who does loads of stuff I think on SNL she, I'm assuming she written directed the entire series because it's kind of maybe loosely based on her life and how she grew up but it's a really interesting um, TV series because it does give you a kind of insight into what it must be to be a especially in LA or in the kind of the entertainment industry what she must kind of go through being a bigger person but there's a really cool scene where they go to like a pool party and it's like sort of a retreat for plus size women or you know bigger women and it's really touching to see like you know the idea you know the whole kind of premise is that she doesn't want to go she doesn't really see herself as fat and then you go there and you see bigger people who are much more confident in the way they look and they're you know wearing bikinis and swimming and shit sunbathing and things that you she would probably never do because she um has her own insecurities but she's able to go to this place and suddenly let loose and be herself it's an amazing really touching scene right but there's a part of me that's also like a bit like oh, man you kind of want to get to a place where you're able to do that in any beach you don't want to create these um utopias where you can only be yourself in these one place and then the rest of your life is what some sort of you know sham some sort of fake front that you're putting up in order to kind of make yourself look like you're okay but deep down you're dying no that's not what life is living about life is not like that like you know we've just got this pandemic we're going through at the moment that stopped everything in our tracks um, nothing is guaranteed right we all had plans that we were going to do places that we were going to go visit people we we're going to go see they've been completely paused because of something that's happened in the world that we've had to kind of you know suffer through together that we didn't know that was going to happen right it just kind of sprung upon us so to waste time pretending to be okay or pretend or you know not living your truth and not being yourself in the world that exists now and waiting to go to retreat really does seem like sad and a waste of time for me i'd much rather they kind of accept where they you know just accept the fact that you're going to get teased and people might say some dumb stuff but be comfortable in your own skin because i think that would go a long way in changing the narrative as opposed to bickering about it online and then the last screenshot i'll say about it before we move on is this one what's this tweet 
it says Adele losing weight doesn't mean that she wasn't beautiful at any size and complimenting her appearance now doesn't take away from the f- facts which I agree her body her choice for how it looks you do you girl happy birthday my sister but definitely uh, happy May sister so definitely agree with that one as well I think that's a good way to end it out and you know people are going to have their decisions it, it, people are going to have their opinions about what looks better and what doesn't look better but I think the beauty of it nowadays especially in social media era is that if you're a girl coming up I always think about you know if you're like a 15 year old girl that happens just to be I don't know maybe 13 you happen to be a little much bigger than your peers in your classroom and it doesn't seem to be a thing about you eating because you tend to eat the same as everybody else but your metabolism just means you put on weight quicker you know there could be an issue where back in the day you would have felt you know that you know there was something wrong with you but nowadays with these with the fact that everyone on social that's thriving is you know really uh leading into who they are and what they represent and just being themselves in front of camera or you know a, a real enough an authentic enough version more so than a hollywood star i think it makes that 13 year old girl feel a little bit more at ease right you know kind of giving yourself such a hard time because you know other people online who are sort of like your friends because you watch their content every single day you know they're live and thriving being the being bigger or being the same size as you so what you know there's no limits what you can do i think that's great but to some i get to a point in the world where people don't judge people based on what they look like i don't think that's going to be something that we're going to get to now again are you going to be my friend if you you know pointing fingers at somebody that happens to be bigger and laughing of course you're not going to be my friend but i'm also understanding of people that have that perspective i just don't want them anywhere near me um but yeah allow the girl and it's her birthday and shit what can we do